Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another video. If you're new to my channel, I do appreciate you being here. Um, I'm doing a piece today that um, is very special to me. I'm going to do a ring pour in pinks. Well, October 1st through October 31st is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. My mom is a survivor. I've got several friends who are survivors, thank goodness. And I just want to do this for everybody out there who may be battling it or who has battled it in the past, has had a family member or a friend. So this piece is for all of you. I'm gonna do the ring pour, like I said. I'm gonna start um, layering my colors. I've just got several pinks over here. I do have a little bit of a, a magenta color in there just because I needed the contrast. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of white and I'll pour these pretty quickly. And then pink. And a little bit of deep magenta. And I'll put all the colors in um, the description. This is a light pink. If you don't know where the description is, it's the link, the actual title of the um, picture. And this is a deeper pink. Remember when I first started using YouTube many years ago, um, I couldn't find it. White. A light pink. And my colors are sitting on top of each other. I just want a little bit more of this purple, or deep magenta, I don't want a whole lot of that. And I do have something that I'm gonna do with a piece after it has dried, and I will post that at the end. I do know the struggles that go into, not personally as far as myself, um, breast cancer. So I do as a family member though. And I know it is challenging and trying and a lot of um, worry, worrisome times. So my heart goes out to all of you. Okay, one more little dab of pink here. all that one up. All right, I'm just going to start in the center here. I'm going to add a little bit more white. There we go. I'm just going to start in the center and do a ring. Is that the center? Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to tell. All right, that's a lot of that dark pink or magenta. I hesitated putting that in here because I did want it to be a breast cancer awareness. However, I did need some contrast. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna go right back over what I just did. Just continue in a ring. go and I'm going to catch it. I'll tell you in just a second what I'm going to do at the end. Just torching for bevels. And I'm just going to roll this around in a circle. And I'm hoping that it does stay very pink and that deep magenta doesn't take over. See, when you roll it in a circle, it kind of keeps those rings in their shape. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna stop and I am gonna add the white around the edges. And what this does, it just helps the paint move. Oh, look what I just did. If I can't get that out. Every little thing, every little drop or see where I wiggled it a minute ago, it all shows up, every piece of it. So that's why you have to be careful. And sometimes I drop things and if you're not new, look at there. And if you're not, that'll probably be pushed off. If you're not new to my channel, you know I drop things all the time. I'm a messy painter and I can't help it. I love it. This lady sent me a comment the other day on one of my, um, 
or gave me a comment the other day on one of my paintings, and uh, she, he said, happy splattered, you know, and I was just, I loved it. I just thought it was awesome. So, okay. Continue to roll this around. There we go. Wait, my paint's down here, so I'm gonna go like this. And see how it helps just move the paint along. I'm gonna bring it back to the middle a little bit. Go ahead and go over that corner right there. And bring it back to the middle. And I'm not expecting this to cover the entire canvas, but like I said, I've got something that I want to do. And again, I'll show that to you in just a minute. There we go. Let's move the paint back. And I'm just moving it, I'll tilt it this way so you can see it, down that side. What I'm using for my pouring medium um, that I mixed, I'm gonna leave that corner wide, that I mixed with my paints, I've got Floetrol, GAC 800, and some gloss varnish. Just tilting a little bit more. I'm just gonna come back this way, and this is perfectly fine just the way it is, and I'll show you in just a minute why. I'm just trying to get the center back in the center. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'll tell you why I did not want it to go over the edges completely. I mean, over the entire canvas. In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I have cut out this ribbon just out of some contact paper. Um, and what I'm going to do is peel it off once this is completely dry and lay it on top of my canvas like this. This ribbon down here is gonna go around and then curl up, probably into this a little bit. All right, now that I'm finished stretching, go ahead and pop the air bubbles. Go on to step number two. Here we go. Now that this is dry, I have taken the ribbon that I had cut out before, placed it on my canvas, and drew around it with a pencil. Now, down here, I did not realize that this had kind of made a squiggle, so I'm gonna carry this ribbon down. I'm gonna have some shadowing so it looks like it's going underneath the center, and then coming up like this. So that's gonna be the ribbon. Um, and I will show you the dried results. Here is the final piece. I think it turned out beautiful. Definitely signifies Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, I let the ring pour dry, like I said, and hand painted the ribbon. Initially, I was gonna have it go down this side, but I did like it this way. I had it go through the middle of the ring pour and then up this way. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And as always, you have a great day. Bye.